Hey everybody, this is my first video on my reef tank. Um, this is my first saltwater tank. Uh, and I went all in. I bought one off of uh, Craigslist. It did not look like this when I got it. Um, it took a lot of work. It's been about a year and a half of struggles with it. And I'm still having some troubles with some of my corals and um, they're not like popping out as much as I'd like to. Uh, I've learned a lot about water quality and the importance of um, regular water changes, water chemistry, all that good stuff, um, and lighting. So um, these are the current lights that I got, um, these LEDs, and uh, um, I got those to replace some T5s that were that came with the tank when I got it that I thought were not very good. Unfortunately, those lights, which I had in one strip, went all the way across the tank. Um, found out that those were not conducive to reef aquariums, so lesson learned there. Um, looking to upgrade my lighting here soon. So one of the other tanks that my son has, he doesn't need this light. It's a rose LED light. See it uh, does a pretty good job there, and with the two current lights put together, it does an okay job. But um, I really need to upgrade my lighting, so I'm looking at getting some Kessels here soon. Um, I'll do a video on those when I get them. But uh, I've struggled with growing coralline algae in the back, starting to grow some now. Um, I've got the JBO wave makers that I added. Um, here's the uh, controller. Really like that a lot. Um, and the other thing that's unique that I did was I put, I had this um, basic small uh, protein skimmer uh, on the right that came with it. Um, but then uh, I got a Vertex, um, another smaller skimmer. I can't put too much bigger of a skimmer in there because I don't have a lot of room up there, as you can see. So I put these in my sump. Um, the Vertex is in the first section, and then the other protein skimmer is in the second section within my refugium. Um, there's my macroalgae. And a UV sterilizer over there and I've got a um, phosphate reactor so that's pretty much what's underneath my tank um, I think the water quality has improved significantly with the second one um, the other important thing that I just added was this pH monitor and as you can see it's 8.11 I just did a water change it was running about um, right at eight uh, during the day, and uh, now I've brought it up to about 8.1, and um, hopefully that's gonna help things. And then the other thing is the magnesium levels have been kind of low, so I've been dosing on the magnesium as well. But I'm hoping that uh, some of these corals will really start uh, popping out. You can see these toadstools are they don't seem to be very happy. Um, starting to get a little happier and with more light even more happy. This is probably the most popped out that one's been in a while. I just made this lighting change yesterday and uh, I think it's really going to help. A lot of these corals over here have been shrinking and um, that was really concerning because that rock was really pretty full with corals and now you can kind of see the rock in there. And, um, and uh, so I'm hoping to, to make a change there uh, with, uh, with the lights, with the water quality and everything else. So I did get some, some new corals as well that I just uh, put in over here. This is a long tentacle plate coral. A couple of other frags that I just got at a reef show. So I just put them in yesterday. So with that, you can kind of track the progress on how these things do. And 
and uh, these guys seem a little closed up. Maybe it's because all the fish kind of, <laughs> it's a traffic lane. I don't know if that's not the best placement for those. But, oh yeah, and then uh, Pulsing Xenia. I've never done well in this tank with Pulsing Xenia. They've never pulsed, they've always shrank. I don't know if it's my water quality or what, but hopefully I've got that under control. I just got a new clam. Put him in there yesterday. And then this is another colony over here that I'm starting. So everything seems to be in pretty good shape right now. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the progress, but um, I'd like to see a lot more growth out of these uh, out of these corals. So that's it for today. A uh, little introduction. As I make some more changes, I'll post some more videos. All right. Have a good one. Bye.